Welcome to Michael Owen's World League Soccer 99. Have fun! There was a time when boosting a game popularity by putting a famous player in it was very popular. Remember games like David Beckham's Soccer, Ronaldo v Football or Gaza? Those times are far gone and now it's hard to imagine that a game can be called for example Lionel Messi Pro Evolution Soccer or Cristiano Ronaldo's FIFA Football. But yes, players are still used as a part of the marketing campaign, probably even more than ever before. And who was the first footballer ever to be put on a cover of a video game? Of course it was Pele. I quit soccer to play Atari. Okay, Atari, let's see your best pitch. Back in the late 70s, Atari 2600 was booming, and the company was releasing new games for this console like crazy. Sport games were very popular since forever, as even the famous Pong is kind of a tennis game. So after football, tennis and baseball, there finally was a time to release a soccer and basketball game, and Atari put a lot into the marketing of those titles. For example, they hired Karim Abdul-Jabbar to be the face of their basketball game, and who could be the man promoting soccer, if not the most recognizable player in the world? Pele. And the great Pele himself tested Pele's championship soccer. What a gig, it beats me again! So, how does it look like? Well, don't expect too much. These are really the beginnings of gaming and this is second generation of consoles, so even if the whole Pele marketing thing can promise a lot, it could only afford to deliver simple form for a game where you control three outfit players moving simultaneously and kicking a square ball. Some people considered this game fun back in the days and I guess with the right amount of alcohol, it can be fun even now if you play it with a friend. What a gig, it beats me again! There are no rules apart from the main object of soccer, which is scoring. No fouls or set pieces. The so-called ball just bounces off the wall if you try to push it out of the field and two halves with sides changing is the only noticeable rule. Well, okay, there's one more. The game has pretty decent goal line technology. See, the keeper is mainly behind the goal line. And even if you push the square ball through the line, you won't get a goal because it still touches the goal line. Now this is impressively realistic and even a bit visionary as goal line technology was actually brought into the game in 2012. There is not much to say left, this is it. You just try to push the square in your opponent's goal and if you succeed you will be rewarded with a point and a very affordable firework show. What I actually was interested in was the little sign on the cover. 54 games. I thought what the hell? Was that released as some kind of a compilation of games? Well, nope. The game just has various settings of speed and goal size. And since they counted every single one of them as a separate game, at the end of the day, they could proudly put this sign on the box. But don't believe it. The game was also released in North America as Championship Soccer. In the instruction we can find some brief origins of the players in the CPU team. Also, the game came out as Championship Soccer in Brazil, so looks like Pele was paid to promote it in the USA but not necessarily in his native country, which is kinda weird. On the other hand, Atari probably figure out that football is so popular in Brazil that it's gonna sell with or without Pele on the cover. I couldn't get any reliable info on what was first, Championship Soccer or Pele Soccer. According to the Bandit 2006 WordPress.com, the game was released in 1980 as Championship Soccer and a year later as Palace Soccer, but this information is not provided with any source, so I couldn't verify it if that's true. In different parts of the world, it was also released as Football, Football Soccer or just Soccer. This is Palace Soccer from 1980 on Atari 2600. There's no need to play it if you don't have a strong nostalgia for it, but it is worth remembering that it was the first soccer game ever signatured by famous player. Last thing I want to show you is an Intellivision commercial, where host criticizes Atari games including Pele's soccer, comparing them to those available on Matter console. I've been making more comparisons between Mattel Electronics in television and Atari. Different games, but the same results. Look at Atari basketball and in television. I think in television plays much more like real basketball. Here's Atari Soccer. And in television. Again, I find in television more sophisticated and lifelike. 
If you try them both, I think you'll find the clear winner is in television from Mattel Electronics.